Hello, and welcome to Cut It With A Hammer. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. We're gonna do a little bit of electrical work. Uh, yesterday I finally got the uh, power feeder installed uh, for the shaper on my Hammer B3. It doesn't come with uh, a plug, so we'll be adding that. The other thing. So these are all the tools we need. We need a Phillips head screwdriver and my favorite pair of wire cutters. A 15 amp 220 plug looks like this no instructions as usual these are way too long anyway so we'll just cut them off Pretty common to have to put plugs on 220 equipment because you never know. The vendor doesn't know what you're going to want need to plug it into because every outlet is different. It's the same with a 110, but most people only see a 15 amp 110 plug. A 20 amp has a, a blade to the side, so it's a little bit different. You just want to make sure that you're plugging uh, the right sized into the right size outlet. You don't want to plug a 20 amp device into a 15 amp circuit because that would always blow the breaker. So it's best just to avoid that. So this looks like about the right length. Cut these about half inch. A twist. Okay, this is a European cable, so yellow and green are your ground, and for 220, it doesn't matter what the other two are. Just to be clear, I am not a licensed electrician and I've had no formal training in messing around with electricity so this is just for entertainment purposes only. I would highly recommend if you want to do anything like this, consult an electrician. So, ground. Ah, no, nope, that's right. For a moment, I thought we forgot the uh, plug cover. Two. an index tab for lining things up. There it is. Cable clamp. Oh, 
you got a shop with power tools, you're occasionally going to have to work a little bit with electricity, so you don't want to have to hire an electrician for every little thing. And I've been doing this type of stuff since I was a teenager. Mine's doing mall railroading, so. And there we go. One, plug attached. And while we're talking about plugs, we'll just go ahead and I'll show you the differences. This is a 15 amp 220 plug. So two flat spades and the ground. Of course, on a 110, 15 amp, they're vertical. Um, yeah. This is a 20 amp 220 circuit where one of the tabs is vertical. The other one's horizontal. And this is what I'm using for yeah. 30 amp. These are locking plugs because the cable I have is hanging down from the ceiling. So we need a locking plug. But on the 30 amp, there's a lot of different uh, varieties of plugs. Like these don't look anything like your dryer, probably. So here is a 20 amp 220 circuit. And then over here is a, 110, a 20 amp 110 circuit. They kind of look the same. The difference is on a, two, on a 220, this is uh, turned 90 degrees. So they kind of look confusing because they kind of look similar, but in actuality, they're not. So plug is done. And all we have to do left is to test it. So I've plugged it in. And it works. So mission accomplished. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, ask questions. You know the drill. And we'll see you in the next video.